everyone welcome back again in this class we will learn a CSS colors all right so uh, what we are going to learn is a uh, different color schemes which we can use uh, while applying color to different uh, fonts or border colors or whenever we use any colors using CSS so so far what we have used is we have just simply defined the color name as red green blue yellow red so on right so like exactly if we define if you set your background color red we do not know what red it is we do not know the intensity of that one so um you may not uh, get the exact uh, color intensity for that particular red so to accurately uh, use a different color intensity for uh, some uh, colors we have to learn some uh, color schemes all right so uh, let's go ahead and then look at so colors are specified using a predefined color names or like rgb hx hsl rgba hsl videos all right so using a different um pre-different color schemes we can give a name to any of our elements all right so in this example we have uh, used inline css and then we have set a background color for heading one as a dodger blue so it will appear like this we can abuse it color tomato like this all right after that again we have set a border to pixel solid and then violet right so we have three different headings we have applied some background color we have apply the font color or else we have applied the border color so all of these properties it can be applied to one single heading also so like the first one can have uh, this tomato as a background color dodger blue as your background color and then this violet as your border color for each one also right so um, you can uh, customize all those things right whenever you are uh, used you just have to continue right after uh, semicolon like background color this one after that color to metal color right and so on or else you can use external CSS so now what we are going to see is let us uh, look on to some of the color schemes all right so in CSS a color can be specified as an RGB value all right using this formula so in CSS when you want to apply a color you can use this RGB scheme all right so rgb stands for red green and blue right these are the primary colors so each parameters red green and blue in rgb color scheme defines the intensity of the color between 0 and 25 that means whenever you give a color using rgb this red green and blue can have a value starting from 0 and then until 255 so in this example we have given RGB after that 255 0 and then 0 this means that this red it will have a 255 that means it's maximum value right after that green and blue they are 0 right so it will display red because red has the highest intensity right because red is set to its highest value 255 and the others are set to 0 so example like if you want to display only a black color set all the parameters to zero that means if you have written rgb zero 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 if everything is zero it will display black suppose like phone color after that colon rgb zero 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 if you are uh, right like this the that particular phone color will be black in color after that if you want to display it white set all the parameters to its highest value 255 so like if you have written rgb 255 255 anything where and to which element you apply that value it will have a white in color right so let's look into an example out here we have a heading one and then background color is 255 9971 so we do not know well, exactly the if we do not look onto our output screen we do not know exactly what uh, color it will appear right so depending on the your requirements you can adjust these values and then you can get your output like this so it will give an output if you give this value here all right so uh, this is how you can uh, use rgb color scheme all right 
red green and blue can have a value starting from 0 to 255 255 is the highest values 0 is the lowest all right so um, depending on that you can um, uh, tweet uh, uh, around with those uh, different values to get those colors all right and the next one we have is rrggbb so um, and uh, css uh, a color can also be specified using a uh, hexadecimal values in the form R R G G and then a P P. All right, so R stands for red, green, and blue. R hexadecimal values between zero and F F. So same as decimal zero to two fifty five. So two fifty five stands for it uh, two fifty five. That means the highest value. All right. So again, if we look into example, if we have given hatch FF0000, this FF will stand for red, green, and then blue, right? So if we have written like that, this red, it have the highest value. So it will display red because red is set to its highest value FF, right? And then the others are set to lowest value zero. So it will display black, all right? So in this example, we have set the background color to us our example so since we have set the red as its highest value it will display red in color like this all right so you can use hexadecimal values uh, like this also like instead of the background color if you want to use a font color after that you can give that one also all right so uh, you can use any color scheme as you wish all right so whichever you make it more comfortable you can uh, use that one so that next we have is a color can be specified using hue saturation and lightness hsls all right so h stands for hue saturation and then a lightness so hue means it is a decorate on the color wheel from 0 to 360 all right zero is red 120 is green and 240 is blue all right after that saturation is a percentage value zero percent means shade of gray and then zero is the full color lightness is a percentage zero percent is black 50 percent is neither light no dark 100 percent is white all right so if you look on this example this hue it is set to zero that means zero is red right after that we have set this saturation to 100% so saturation is a percentage of value 0% means rich and 100% is the full color so full color means if it is red it will give the full color red right after the lightness is the percentage right so we have set as a 50% so 50% is neither light no dark so it will give us the color red this way all right so um, that is um, how we can uh, use different color schemes uh, when you use HTML so depending on your requirements you can use either this one or uh, like uh, this hexadecimal or uh, RGB also Alright, so thank you so much and then see you in the next class.